I look like Freddy Krueger. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jordi. If you don't know me, even though today I look a little bit like Freddy Krueger. I woke up this morning feeling like total trash. Trash, just trash, just pure trash. Tired, trash. But I thought that uh, I would get ready on camera because I gotta get ready anyways. And I really wanted to do like a happy pink look. So this is how I ended up looking. If you'd like to see me put blush on my eyes, my cheeks, my nose, my lips, everywhere, then keep watching. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Which is why I'm sitting down to put on some makeup. Because it really does make me feel better. First things first, literally always, Mabel and Meg skincare products are everything to me. First, I'm gonna use Lume Elixir, and then I'm gonna use the Ethereal Delicate Day Cream. Even putting the serum on my face makes me feel better. Oh, falling asleep. My lips are really swollen today, and I really, really love it. I hate when moisturizer gets like a little dried bit. Yuck. It's almost as bad as when you feel some food in the sink when you're doing dishes. No, it's not. It's not that bad at all. I take it back entirely. So fucking snowy outside. So I just want to match the snow today. I am going to use my Fenty foundation in 140, but I'm going to mix in some NYX Total Control Drops in Pale to make it a little bit lighter. Because this is a little bit too dark right now, and I just want to be really pale today. Because I feel like a damn ghost. Love being messy. Oh god. It's dripping! This is a disaster. I got it. Oh my god, I forgot primer. <laughs> ah, at least I didn't put foundation on before I realized I forgot primer. Y'all know. Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. Because it fills in my pores. Pores. No. Mores. Jordi, why are you so cool? I can't even handle how cool you are. I hope you can sense the sarcasm. That was such a close call. I'm shook. Now my foundation is completely absorbed into the sponge. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can still squeeze some out. That foundation matches way better with a little bit the other one mixed in. I really love mixing foundations and primers and everything. But when I'm making tutorials, I always feel like I don't want you guys to feel like you need two different products for one purpose. If that makes any sense? Like I don't want you to feel like you have to buy two foundations to make one good one because you don't. Whenever I have foundation on and no concealer, I always feel like Uncle Fester. Especially with my hair pulled back like this. I practically am Uncle Fester. There is nothing wrong with that though. Uncle Fester is a good looking man. I found my little baby, my whiteout concealer by Kat Von D. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use my shape tape in Fair Neutral to keep the paleness going. I don't know. I like to do it in vertical lines because then I can add the whiteout concealer without getting the other concealer all over the applicator. I try to remember to do one eye at a time when I use a whiteout concealer because I do find that it dries really quickly and if you let it sit, it's kind of hard to blend out. So I lay it down and blend it out stat. Always put it on my eyelid. Makes a wicked awesome base for eyeshadow. It looks like I just shrunk my eyeball. Look at this one's pune. You're my entire piece of trash. That's like the cutest message I've ever got. Ew, I hate when I put my concealer over my eyelid and my eyelid makes a sound. Squinching. Why is it squinching? Ooh, starting to feel alive. Also, I'm going to highlight my face a little bit. It 
since it's an extra pale day, I'm going to contour with Amber Matchstick by Fenty Beauty because it's such a nice cool tone. I'm gonna grab it with a brush though because I don't wanna be like super, super sculpted today. I want this to be like, I don't know, like a lighter look. Who am I? Oh, this is the uh, Precise Highlighting Brush by Smashbox, but I freaking love it for contouring and blending out cream contour. Just because a brush has a name doesn't mean you have to use it for what it's for. There's no rules to the game. I know this isn't a, a light contour for some of you, <laughs> but it is for me, okay? <sighs> I'm just using a little concealer brush. I can get some really little nose contour lines popping. When you have a bad sleep, do you ever just like hurt all over? I'm hurting. But uh, did you guys know it's almost Christmas? Holy fucking shit. Where did, not even December, where did November go? Where did the year go? Do you guys have 2018 resolutions? I don't usually make New Year's really revolutions. Maybe I should make a revolution to learn how to talk more better. I really like my nose contour today. So that's positive. Just a little bit of extra blending. Under eyes are creased all to hell. Definitely need to fix that before powder or we'll be in a big old mess. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it with my RCMA no color powder, which I literally dump on my desk in a pile. I'm so ashamed. I'm not really. I like using a blender to set with powder because it doesn't involve any Whoosh, 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 whoosh motions so it doesn't disturb the foundation and concealer when it's not ready to be disturbed. You feel me? You guys have any extra special Christmas presents that you're extra excited about? I do. Hi, Christmas present. Oh my god, this eyelid's so squinchy. It's sticking me out. I don't feel like doing my brows. I'm gonna use my NYX Precision Bow. use my NYX Precision Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. Whenever I don't feel like doing my brows, I usually use a pencil because I find it to be quicker, easier, a little bit more forgiving if you fuck up. Brown pomades are just a little bit trickier in my opinion. I need to pluck my brows so bad. Oh my god. Give me shit in the comments. Tell me to pluck my brows, please. Put a somewhat natural looking brizzow. I'm not really sure 
where I'm going with this look. All I know is that I want to be pink. I just want pink because pink is happy and not tired. Instead of using super crazy bright pink eyeshadows, which seems to be all I have, I'm just going to put this blush book by Ofra all over my face. I'm going to start with one of my favorite brushes ever, this big domed brush from Furless. Speaking of Furless, are you guys excited to see my collaboration with Furless? I'm so excited. And I'm going to start with the lightest pink. I'm going to put this all the way up to my brow. Just want to be pink all over. I'm also going to bring this down, way down. Next, I'm going to go in with this slightly darker pink, putting it on the lid, still just using the big brush. And then with a big brush, I'm going to grab <coughs> something in my throat. I'm going to grab that pink. I'm going to put it on the apples on my cheeks. I'm going to bring it across my nose. A little bit on the tip. Like a sunburn. Like a cute sunburn. Sunburn, but make it fashion. I want the eye to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to go in with this one. On a smaller brush. I'm going to blend that into the other 90 shades of pink. Back into this shade of pink. I'm going to put some on the lower lid, but below my lash line. For that kind of puffy, sleepy look. I think it's so cute. The outer corner of my eye hates eyeshadow. It just never wants to stick. It really grinds my gears. I feel like Marie Antoinette right now. I like it. I'm gonna go into my Milk Highlight Quad. I don't want it to be like a super structured highlight, so I'm gonna use a big fat brush and this one. I'm just dusting it over my cheeks. And in all the usual spots. A little bit in that gap and using the white one on my nose. I'm gonna line my eyes, but I'm gonna use brown. This is Columbia by Melt Cosmetics. I'm gonna use brown, because I feel like black would just be too dark right now. I'm gonna bring my liner down and out to elongate my eyes. Every vehicle that goes by, I'm like, FedEx? It's freaking snowing again. Good lord. Will it ever stop? Is it snowing where you guys live? I live in BC, in Canada. It's a freaking winter wonderland. I'm just smudging this liner out. really soft, softer. And now I'm gonna put on these lashes from the Lash Graveyard. I'm not entirely sure what they are. I think they might be Go Bold or Go Home by Bold Face Makeup. Mascara though, first. This is the I Love Extreme Mascara by Essence. I honestly haven't tried a mascara by them yet that I have not liked. They're so bomb. Just letting the glue on my lash band get tacky before I stick them on. And then using the best lash tool ever by Social Eyes Lashes, also using their glue. Stick them on there. Try to anyway. 
I've used these lashes to death. They're like practically falling apart. Kind of hard to put on. I was gonna put on a more subtle lash with this look, but I just feel so much better when I put on a ridiculous pair of lashes. Sue me. But don't actually. I ain't got shit for you. I feel like this makeup look is really embracing how tired I feel. I think these are the same lash. They came from the graveyard, so you never know. They could be two different lashes. Or they could just be old as shit. For the lips, I'm gonna use Sugar Pills New Liquid Lipstick in Cubby. Just gonna hold it. Oh my god, it's so bright. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's so fruity. So I put it in the center and now I'm just gonna smudge it out with my finger. Whoopsie baby. I don't really want any hard lines. I'm gonna take a clean eyeshadow brush, light pink. I'm just gonna go around the edges of my lips to make it really blared out. I'm also gonna use this brush. To blend out this ish a little bit more. And I'm gonna put a little bit more pink on my nose. It's like I'm sunburned and tired and caught a cold, but I'm still cute as fuck. That's what we're gonna go with. Oh dear. Now it is time to freckle. For the freckles, I'm gonna use Pony Cosmetics Main Stain in number two Palomino and a little eyeliner brush. I forgot how good this was for freckles, so I'm bringing it back. <laughs> You can tell I use it for freckles because it is stabbed to shit. My freckles are being poo heads right now. This brush is too thick. My favorite freckle brush is the Precision Liner Brush by Sugar Pill. It's the best for freckles. And I actually have, I think, two or three of them, but I can never fucking find them. Of course. Someone would like to come and organize my damn life. That would be great. Ooh, whatever, man. <coughs> I'm gonna dust a little bit more blush over top of these freckles just to kind of make it look like they're under the blush instead of on top. You feel? I'm gonna spray my face with the Kat Von D Lock It makeup. Setting mist, because I'm really powdery. It's almost gone, I need a new one. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for hair, a wig or not. Nah. Can I get this ponytail out or not? Nah? Mm, my hair is really flat today. I think I actually like this look with my flat hair. It's a little bit slick because it's a little bit dirty it's definitely a hat day it is snowing anyway and i do have to go outside this will protect me like a festive freddy krueger thank you for hanging out with me guys i know i am uh really exciting really exciting i'm an exciting person today i'll see you guys in the next video